Today's exam style question involves Pythagoras, trigonometry and bearings. Okay, so let's have a look at this question. It wants us to work out the distance AC. So that's there to there. Now, it's a right angle triangle. So that should be a hint to us that this question may involve Pythagoras or trigonometry. Now, what's been given to us? Two lengths have been given, three kilometers and four kilometers, and it wants us to work out the third length there. So straight away, two, two lengths given, working out the third missing length, it's Pythagoras. So we need to label up our sides. The longest side we always label up as C, and the other two sides as A and B. Now we know Pythagoras' theorem states a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So let's plug in our values and work out the missing length. So a is 3, we need to square it, add 4 squared is equal to 25. So c squared is equal to 25, square root both sides, that leaves us with C is equal to 5 kilometers. Now, let's look at part B. Okay, calculate the bearing C from A. Now, bearings is just a measure of a turn in a real life context. Okay, there's three key things you need to remember about bearings. Okay, you need to put in a north line if it's not given. Secondly, it's measured in a clockwise direction. And finally, it's written as three digits. Okay, so let's have a look at this question. It's asking me to calculate the bearing of C from A. Now, the letter that comes after the word from is where you start. So I'm going to go clockwise from A to C. Okay, so the letter that comes after the word from, that's where you start and you go clockwise. Now, here we can see that that is a semicircle oh it's a straight line now we know what that that is going to be 180 degrees so what we need to work out is this small angle here now same again we know we have a right angle triangle there we've got two lengths and we need to find an angle those are our hints that it's a topic question that involves trigonometry. So let's get started on trigonometry. What is it? Our three formula triangles, Sa, Ka and Toa. Okay, so let's pop them down. Three formula triangles, sine of the angle, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse cos of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent so how do we use these formula triangles? So step one, you need to label up your triangle. So step one, you need to and the order that you want to do is hypotenuse, the opposite and the adjacent. That's the three letters in the order that you want them so let's do hypotenuse first that's opposite the right angle so that's hypotenuse opposite is opposite the angle so that's over here and the last side is always 
adjacent. Okay, step two. Cross off what's been given a value. In this case, what's been given a value, we can see that the opposite over here has a value and the adjacent also has a value. So let's cross them two letters off. So opposite and adjacent, cross them both off. Okay, and step three. Cross off what you need to work out. In this case, we're working out that angle there, so we know we can cross off sine of the angle, cos of the angle, or tan of the angle, right? So whenever you're working out the angle or the angles being given, you can cross them three off sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. Now, how do we use the formula triangle? We look at the one that's got everything crossed off. So, which formula triangle has everything crossed off? In this case, it's TOA. So, how do you use the triangle? tan of the angle so what you would do is cover tan of the angle and it will give you that you need to do the opposite divided by adjacent so tan of the angle is equal to 3 divided by 4 okay now that if you pop into the calculator you can see that it's not an angle so to convert it you need to press shift and turn and then 3 divided by 4 into your calculator make sure it's in degrees mode All right this should give you the answer of 36.869 the questions asking it for to the nearest degree so to the nearest degree that is 37 degrees so this little angle here is 37 degrees okay so the full bearing okay from C from A so we need this full bearing over here the one I'm just highlighting in purple okay so the full bearing is that 180 degrees that we looked at initially plus that small angle which we worked out of 37 which will leave us with the answer of 217 degrees have a go at these questions and upload your answers on class charts for your teacher to check ensure you have a calculator and it's in the correct mode of degrees thank you